Good day to everyone. We are grateful and happy to be invited to join you once again in this year's Jesus-Centered Life or JCL Conference. Please allow us to introduce ourselves. We are Diam and Noemi Maresigan from the Philippines. We've been happily married for almost 29 years now and we are blessed with five children. We usually say one boy and four girls, but it just doesn't sound right anymore at this time. So now we say we have one gentleman and four ladies. The only gentleman among our children is now 28 years old and our youngest is 16. So Diam and I are active with EduChad Foundation Inc., which is a family enrichment group here in the Philippines involved with giving workshops and courses related to marriage, parenting, and also a course for single young professionals, and soon to offer a grandparenting course as well. The phrase work from home became a byword during mm -hmm. this pandemic, right? We hear about being in the comforts of our home, um, avoiding traffic. We are able to go from one meeting to another, um, regardless of location. Um, and yet, we hear also of long work hours, boundless work. Being both a parent and a teacher, the children who are likewise taking classes from home mm -hmm. on top of the demands of uh, managing the household. But wait, we are not here to talk about work from home. Our topic is about work at home. Others will call it household chores or the set of things that we have to do in order to make the home not just a livable space but a happy, comfortable place where family members and friends and relatives will be happy to gather in. If you are a student watching us right now, don't leave. Don't give up on those household chores. Give us a few minutes so that you can discover the beauty and the wisdom that the work at home gives you. If you are a parent, stay with us as well so that you may be assured or encouraged to assign tasks to your children. Our, our children grew up with at least one helper um, in the house. There was even a time that we had three. Um, they help us uh, do uh, those daily tasks which are very, you know, difficult, uh, like cleaning, cooking, doing the laundry, ironing, and so on, especially during the time when Noemi was uh, still working. We talk about um, our friends and relatives in other countries who are heroically doing all of this task, and I, you know, I, we can't imagine ourselves doing them here. When the children were much younger, we talk about the possibility that perhaps in the future, uh, we won't need a helper anymore at home. And lo and behold, during this pan pandemic, that, uh, that became possible. It wasn't planned, but our helper asked to go home. And, you know, you know the reason? She's getting married uh, amidst the pandemic. So we let her go. And because of the uncertainty of the times, we were scared to look for a, re a replacement. So, you know, um, someone had to do the laundry or the ironing of the clothes or the cooking. So we all had to decide, that we all decided that, that we can manage everything by ourselves. And it turned out to be one of our biggest blessings. You know, in raising up our children, we followed the path of what our catechism teaches us in point 357. It reads in part, Being in the image of God, the human individual possesses the dignity of a person who is not just something, but someone. He is capable of self-knowledge, of self-possession, and of freely giving himself and entering into community with other persons. We've always believed that knowing oneself, gaining self-mastery, and learning how to serve others will surely make our children happy in the end. So allow us to proceed with this talk along those lines, how taking care of the home or the work at home leads us to the joy that we are meant to have. Let's start with self-knowledge because everything starts from knowing. 
The most important aspect of knowing is realizing the value and the purpose, goal, or mission of each one. When this situation presented itself to us, meaning when we didn't have a helper anymore, it was easier to agree on doing things ourselves because we saw the home as our very own and to which we have the duty to take care of. We were fortunate that our children did see the upcoming assignments to be burdens. Let us say that it was clear that we are being stewards of the home that we have, of the home that we all take as our own. We took it as a challenge, a new experience, a new adventure that we shall do together. Of course, before this happened, uh, we had our own share of chores, even if we had the helper. Um, but it was easy then to request help or assistance when we got ourselves busy. Um, Noemi um, even remembered the time when she gave specific instructions to our house help uh, not to make up the beds of the kids because we believe it was about time for the kids to do that. However, the helpers couldn't stand the sight of messy beds for several days, so they ended up doing them. Uh, so we had to be more organized. Uh, we started blocking off our schedules uh, for school, uh, for work, and we also blocked off time to do household chores. Um, as Noemi is the one with the most flexible time, she filled out the empty slots. Yet the rest of the family considered Noemi's need as well to continuously develop herself through studies and readings. We also blocked off time uh, to do physical exercise as well as time to rest. One cleans her own room and space and care of the common areas was assigned. Everyone, well except Ria, <laughs> cooks depending on available time. And through it all, we discover new skills, new recipes, no, new interests. We discover ways to make life simpler, and we realize that we can already find joy in the simplest of things. In the process, the work at home reinforces the value of each one as a person who recognizes that he is part of a community within both a physical and social structure. In this case, it is the home and the family. In addition, the household chores are obviously work but work which must be joyfully done because it enhances our dignity as a human person, which in fact it is. On self-mastery, work at home gives us the opportunity to work towards our personal excellence and to develop our capacities and potentials as we go through the um, daily routine of study or work from home and at the same time um, doing work at home, our weaknesses and our strengths manifest themselves. With the guidance and example of the parents, we can lead the children to overcome the weaknesses and fortify those strengths. The formation of good habits or virtues become a natural consequence of doing tasks at home. And one important factor is commitment. The assumption of responsibilities at home teaches each member of the family to be committed to something and to a goal shared by all. Commitment is important in all areas of our lives. When it is directed towards the good, it enables us to persevere and not to give up easily and to do what is necessary. One would think that including household chores in one schedule will deprive him of the time to do more in other areas of his life. Aside from the fact that the household chores or taking care of the home develop children and family members in a lot of ways, doing them actually and surprisingly lead them to strive more in other aspects. I remember a friend who told me that if I am looking for someone to perform a certain task, I should look for the one who is already busy with so many things because I will be sure to have the work done. And true enough, we fell 
that we were able to do more. In our experience, having household chores helped us become efficient time managers, having time for studies, for work, friends, org activities, and advocacies we have to attend to, coming out with our monthly pilgrimages to Our Lady, daily prayer with my mother-in-law, regular exercise because we were afraid to get sick, we had time for BTS and K-dramas and many other things. And we use meal times to know what other matters we are busy with. It is also the time when we, you know, we can notice if something seems to be going wrong with anyone. It's the time also to talk about people, current events, politics, homilies, and whatever comes to mind. And so during meal time, we are able to understand each other's perspectives very well. Being more aware of our moods, our weaknesses, our strengths, and oftentimes not having the luxury to brood over them, allowed us to hone virtues of self-control, order, serenity, patience, perseverance, and charity. On self-giving, um, the work at home draws one towards others instead of focusing on oneself. Um, the goal of taking care of, of the home makes one aware that what he does is for everyone living in that home, not for oneself alone. Thinking of what to cook, for example, directs us to think of dishes which are not only healthy, but those that will surely satisfy the members of the family. When someone suddenly has something to attend to, she learns to negotiate with another to ensure that uh, another one will do her assigned task. There are times when words did not be said, when someone is not feeling well or stressed out uh, over school or work or needs to isolate because of a possible contact with a suspected COVID case. And this is the primary reason why we decided to talk about work at home. We believe that the work or study from home is a golden opportunity for the family. First, to be together and get to firm up the bond among its members. We get to eat more meals together and hopefully have more time to communicate with each other. And secondly, it's a time to teach responsibility and service and commitment to others through taking care of the household together. The family and the home are definitely products of God's wisdom. The home is the physical structure for training, and the family members, most especially the parents, are the personal trainers in all the important aspects or areas in our lives. The family and the home are necessary to ensure that each member becomes a steward of anything that God will share with each one. Our happiness lies in serving others. It is the deep yearning of our souls. Now that most of us are home, let us practice doing that and doing it perfectly well. When our children will reach the time when they have to live away from us, the training at home will give us that level of confidence that they will manage, that they will be able to take care not only of themselves, but will be there for others as well. The world needs to be a better place one day at a time, and the work at home will ensure that it will be. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.